Now let's go over each patch and I'll let you know my thoughts. Number one, finding studs. Very common in the industry and I've done it a lot and I'll continue to do it. It worked out very well. It does require a little bit of skill and it could get expensive depending on how many tools you actually have. Same thing with the second one, whether you're using blocks or clips. Those clips were kind of cool, never used those before. Those are an easy thing to throw in your toolbox if you're doing a job somewhere or throw them in the drawer if you're doing stuff at your house. Number three, tapeless or winged. This was probably my new favorite. I like that the drywall paper is really, really thin so I could get it close to the wall and it actually came out really great. Number four, just tape. I have never really been a fan of this because of the bubbling of the tape, but it is a pretty easy patch to do. And it ended up coming out okay. Number five, store-bought patch. Super quick, super easy, besides the coats of mud, and I guess it depends on how good you are at mudding, but it came out great. I was able to do it in two coats. Number six, the all-in-one DAP repair patch kit. I love that it's all-in-one, but I don't love the type of spackle. The finish does not look great. You're able to see this entire patch and I think the primer and the paint actually re-wetted the spackle and brought pieces of it up and into the primer and the paint. It just does not look that great. It's a little more inexpensive, but for my money, I would spend it somewhere else. Number seven, the other all-in-one repair patch kit from 3M. This one is another one that I was surprised by. It's pretty cool because you put that plastic mesh on the backside of the drywall. That way you don't have to make a huge patch because you don't have to taper it out far because there's nothing on top of that hole to make it stick out. That one I'm impressed by and it's pretty inexpensive and DIY friendly. Number eight, spray foam. It came out really good and I hate that it came out really good. I don't like spray foam, but the idea is simple. Same kind of idea as number seven. Nothing was put on top of the patch, so it was even with the drywall. And once I put that mud on there and sanded it, it just, it came out really good. I'll give it to you, spray foam. Number nine, the DAP Eclipse sticker patch. This one, I'm torn because though it is the cheapest and it is the easiest one of all these patches, it probably isn't gonna come out that great. I think it's great if maybe you were gonna hang a mirror or you were gonna tile a backsplash or there's just a quick patch that you needed to do because you got a party coming up or something, but it's definitely not a high level, beautiful patch for a wall to make it look perfect. But if it's gonna work for you, then I'm happy I showed it to you. And when all else fails, you can always just hang a picture over it.